All right, so we're on a segment called Drinking with DC Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> and we're here at the uh, lovely Cat and Fiddle. But yeah, the new project that's coming out, Octopus Kids. Yeah. Tell us um, about that. So what is this film? The beauty is, uh, it's uh, this is a fan, uh, a fan-driven um, experience for me. In that uh, it was uh, 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 Carmela Hazlett uh, it was was a friend fan on my Facebook page um, who loved what I'd done with Wesker and whatnot, and she used, and she said I should get you in one of the films that uh, my husband and I do, and it's like yes, I had about eight months to get ready for it, and uh, it was for the role of a serial killer. And I actually just realized in this moment, I have to credit Apocalypse Kiss for getting me into 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 being healthy. Other than this, I, I got into shape. And then about a month before the film, I said, "Listen, because you were a fan of Albert Wesker and Resident Evil, why don't I? You know, the character is very different than Albert Wesker. He's not in control at all. He's he thinks he is, but he's really he's a child. And I, but." But physically, why don't we make him, because this futuristic kind of uh, Blade Runner meets Sin City kind of thing, the way they're describing it. And why not make the character a little bit like Wesker? So I said, how about I dye my hair really blonde and like get some uh, uh, contact lenses to change the eye color and I'll go really tan. And uh, I'm sort of buffing up. And, uh, and, they, and, and Christian uh, Grillo, who's the director, is like, you do that? And I'm like, yeah, baby, you're paying me. I'm going to be there, so why as well dye my hair? Each of my kills is like a painting, perfect, an unpredictable work of art, calculated, yet undeniably chaotic. A beautiful contradiction. Now, I am not going to let my work get corrupted by some local security agencies, because they can't tell the difference between art and shit. I have a reputation to uphold. For your character, the way he looks, does, do you look just like Wesker, or is it just the, the hair color and the sweet Well, come on, him? he's CG yeah, frickin' the... eye. I mean, the guy, <laughs> he's like, his chest is like this, his arms are like that, well, and he's got a waist like that. Really and there's tell. no, it's like, it's like the male version of a Barbie doll. There's no way you can be that. But most of the time, he's wearing a trench coat. I don't wear a trench coat in this film, sorry. But I will say this, that I'm in development with a production company here in LA. Uh, they do a lot of C films, B films kind of thing. Um, we, uh, uh, and this is how I have the entree to them. But we are developing um, a, uh, uh, a zombie film where the character I'll play will be very Wesker-like. He may not look as much like Wesker, like Adrian does, uh -huh. but character-wise we're much more like Wesker and whatnot. But it's a zombie film. And that way I play like a snooty uh, dean of a college. It's, it's basically... If you're 12 years old and you want to masturbate, this is the movie for you. If you're 12, year old, 12 <laughs> years old and you want to masturbate. Well, actually, at any age, if you want to masturbate, it's probably still a good movie for you. But I'll um, probably <laughs> masturbate to the movie, like, just right after this interview. This is Drinking with DC Douglas. Yep. Cheers. <laughs> Tell me something. Do you like kinky? Do you like tenderness? Do you like passion? Good. So do I. You've been doing conventions a lot. You've been traveling, and you have a panel that I heard about that involves yeah. erotic fan fiction. Yes. How does that? How does that even happen? Can't tell you. <laughs> Sorry, it's it's it's, uh, it's proprietary. <laughs> now Capcom just now is like starting a lawsuit. No, um, it it is. Uh, uh, how did it happen? Yeah. It happened because I had a lot of fans on Twitter and Facebook, uh, Tumblr. Tumblr, by the way, 18 and over only, for if you want to follow me. Because um, uh, it's Tumblr. Oh, it is Tumblr. Tumblr's late, got a lot of... Late night yeah. Tumblr, baby. Um, it's a great way to unwind. But the... No, but um, the uh, th these fans would like send me like a lot of like yaoi stuff. Um, so you know about the yaoi? Oh, yeah. I know about the yaoi. The Chris Wesker thing is just like, my God. And the thing is, is most of this yaoi is not by like 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 like, like gay boys or men, gay whatever. That, that are, It's by girls. It's like, yeah. you know what? Everyone jokes about how men like to see lesbian porn and whatnot. It's like, I think girls like it too. Not the lesbian, they like the gay porn. Because I, 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 they're really pushing the whole Chris Wesker thing. So anyway, I'd get these um, pictures, and then people say, read my fanfic, read my fanfiction, read my fanfiction. It's like, I mean, I, I mean, I do like, I, I, listen, I'm grateful for the role of Wesker yeah, yeah. that I got to do the games that I did. I've done like five of them or something. Uh, 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 the, the ancillaries and then the, um, the two big ones. So I'm like, I'm happy about that. And uh, uh, but I'm like, I'm not gonna. I don't. Every day I don't wake up and go, what Wesker thing can I do today? 
but they some people do because they're hardcore fans and God bless them for it but I thought you know I kept getting it and I thought well there's a desire here for this right mm -hmm. so when I go to do a convention instead of just sitting there doing the normal Q&A because I want to talk about all my career like you know I was a recurring in Boston Common on NBC in the 90s and blah 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 nobody gives a shit about that they want to go so how does Wesker masturbate or whatever you know they want to like, they're like shit yeah. like that and it's like well okay if that's what they want let's really give it to them I mean give it to them no I, let's give it to them <laughs> so, I, I, so I, I kind of developed this thing I, I, put the, I put the word out there I go please send me your fan fiction I'm going to pull whatever I can use uh, one person in particular sent me uh, several, uh, she's a really phenomenal writer about it uh, with the stuff, so I used most of her stuff and then some other people's, and I've actually added my own. So what started as like a, uh, like a 45 minute um, panel yeah. has turned into uh, a 90 minute panel. Um, it won't go longer than that, because like 90 minutes of erotic busker is enough. Um, but I pull the people from the audience, and they read it with me. Uh, and if they're in cosplay, and this is what I'm going to say, like when I go to the bigger cons, I'm going to say, I'm only pulling up people that are in the cosplay of the character that I need to come up and read with me. Oh, that's good. Uh, yeah, which makes it really fun. And then they come up there, and it's literally, it's like two mics, it's uh, flashlights, because I like to dim the lights, make the mood, and and I've got music that plays with it, and then we do the thing. And it's it's erotic, yes, and but it's also funny as hell. I think there's more laughter than there are people masturbating in the audience. I think. I haven't looked out there, because it's dark, I've turned the lights down. Evil. Wesker, how has that like affected your life in general compared to like everything else you've done? 2007, I recorded oh. RE uh, Umbre Umbrella Chronicles. Is it 2006? Shit, I can't remember. It's around 2006, it 2007. I did Umbrella Chronicles, and then I started to get, and I had a Facebook page, people wanting to friend me, my personal page, friend me, and I'm like. Well, I don't know you. Why the fuck would I want to friend you? Oh yeah. And then I started to realize, oh, it's from this video game. And I thought I better start a personal page. So I started, I mean, a fan, a fan page. page yeah. I started a fan page. Told everybody. This is like a year later. Told everybody, go over to there if you really want to like keep up. So like in a week, I went from zero to a thousand. And I'm like, oh my god, I got a <laughs> thousand. Um, you know, like then I got up to like twenty-two thousand, and then I decided. A lot of them were like 14 year olds and stuff, and so I changed the page to be 17 and older because I don't have filters, as you can tell. And and so sometimes it posts things that 14 year olds maybe shouldn't see or something. So you're, so it, you're like Miley Cyrus then. I'm a little like Miley Cyrus. <laughs> Actually, I'm a lot like Miley you Cyrus. You are exactly like Miley Cyrus. I've twerked. <laughs> have you seen my twerk video? These two are I such teases. They are such <laughs> So before we go to your house, check out your room, would you have like a, just a shrine? He thinks, he thinks it's going well. A shrine, You're not going to my uh, house? No. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, I'll peek out from behind, you know, like, all right, he's coming in. All right. He didn't right. see me. I'm we good. go to my house. Is there a shrine to Wesker is what you're asking? Yeah. That'd be weird, man. Would it really? It would be weird. Oh, don't you think? Like if I was voicing Wesker, like one of the great villains, I would... But I also voice win. Chase, Transformers Rescue Bots. Do you have that Well, it's paid me a lot more money than Wesker has. But how many Chase fans do you have? Like the fans of Hey, Chase, compared to Wesker, most of them are young. Wesker, most of them are young, too young to really get on the computer and do a lot of Facebooking. You, <laughs> you see that? Their moms do though. Capcom, and I appreciate that. Capcom, you need to take care of DC because all the fans are going crazy. No, Capcom, you've done beautiful by me. No, 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 I, <laughs> no, no. Seriously, I love the everything. The fact that they haven't sued me over my little parody videos I've done is <laughs> beautiful. Yeah, but yeah, no, really, Capcom. I do appreciate more I, dollars. No, 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 no. I do appreciate everything that they yeah. listen. They, they, I got, I got in on something that's pretty phenomenal that helped change my career. So, I have, I have, I have uh, nothing but um, thanks for for Capcom. All right. So that's all the time we have for drinking with DC Douglas. I'm, I'm John. Done. Yep. I'm John Spartan Wynn. This is. I'm DC Douglas. And take care and check out his Instagram, his Vine, no, his my Twitter. Instagram. No, it's no. Facebook. Twitter, Facebook, DCDouglas.com, and definitely Apocalypse Kiss, April 8th.